My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Haha, <laughs> we got exciting news. We have baby mink. I know I didn't tell you guys much leading up to this uh, about the breeding or anything like that, so I guess it's time to start now. Um, so here we have our very first litter of babies. And um, this is Taz, and she is the mother to Spot and Midnight. And Taz has a little litter here. We're gonna check him out. We haven't done anything yet. Just like last year, I waited to touch him and, uh, and check him out until I had the camera on. So I've been pretty excited all morning while Maggie ate breakfast, getting ready to uh, check out these little babies. I explained last year um, why we handle the mink. And it's basically to check for any complications. Things like umbilical cords that are too long, uh, babies that weren't cleaned properly, and so the, the embryonic uh, sac is still attached to them. Things like that, little complications that you can help to save a baby that would have otherwise died. Uh, the practice of handling and checking the kits is a widely used practice. I'm going to have a hundred people who want to give me their opinions on what I should and shouldn't do with baby mink. Unless you've raised 10,000 litters a year for 20 years, I'm going to be very blunt here, I don't care about your opinion. Okay? The people I get opinions from have raised thousands and thousands and thousands of, year, of litters of babies every year for longer than I've been alive. Okay, those are the people I get advice from. I'm gonna be very blunt. I don't care what your opinion is, whether I should be touching these babies or not. You've probably never seen a mink in your life. I don't care about your experience with hamsters. I talk to people who raise tens of thousands of litters of baby mink every year for longer than I've been alive. Those are the people I take advice from. So the reason I'm being kind of blunt, a little bit rude here, the last year when I did this, I had people throwing up their hands, you shouldn't be touching the babies, blah, 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 great. How many mink have you raised? None. How many mink have you seen? None. Great. I don't care what your opinion is. I take advice from people, once again, who raise tens of thousands of litters of mink every year since before I was born. Those are the people I take advice from, and this is what they advise me to do. So, anyway, sorry if you guys took that a little bit harshly, but people didn't get the picture last year. Okay, so this is Brock's litter. Um, the mother is Taz, like I said, so we're going to quickly check these guys out, make sure they're okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we got a little girl here. How we can tell it's a girl is that little spot's near her bum. Her belco cord is nice and short. Let's check the next one here real quick. This one needs a trim to belco cord. This one's a little boy. You see the little spot in the middle of his belly? A little black spot. He's a boy. We got his umbilical cord trimmed. This one's a little girl. She's got a black spot near her belly. This cord is a little bit long. It's not bad, but I'm gonna just clean it up here. Just to be safe. We got another little girl, you see the black spot. So three girls and a boy. I'm gonna trim this one up a little too. And here's the proud father right here, Mr. Brock. So let's take a look at the other females that we have here and uh, talk about who they are potentially gonna have kits from. This is Tashishi. <coughs> She's the mother to Ikiska and Ikisabe, and she should be having a litter any day now. The sire to her litter is gonna be is Midnight, so if you look at her belly here, I don't know that we could get a good shot of her belly. Oh, I can see it though, in real life. You can see it? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Not in the oh, camera. Oh, not in the camera, okay. So she's she's got a good little belly, baby belly on her. Um, she should be, you know, maybe a week from now, maybe a couple days from now having a litter by Mr. Midnight. 
Here we have little Miss Rio. She looks to have a belly. It's very faint. Um, so she might be a little while having babies or she might just have a smaller belly. She was bred by Brock. So hopefully we'll have a second Brock litter here by little Miss Rio. Over here, this is Ikisabe. And she has a really big belly. See if you can get a shot of that. She's got a huge tummy. Oh yeah, she does. Um, so I was expecting her to have a litter first because she's got such a big belly, but... I'll try to get her to be... But apparently not. Um, Ikisabe was bred <laughs> by Bear. This litter looks like it's being born at the moment. So we're not going to mess with her. So this is Maher and Spot's litter. So we'll keep you guys posted on the litters as we have them. And um, also, just to let you guys know, we're going to be doing a live event here. Um, Saturday, I will be leaving to go down south and to do my hunting expedition that I was telling you guys about. We're going to try and catch some nutria, some armadillos, possums, just a bunch of crazy stuff down south that I've never done before. So pretty excited. We're going to be doing some hunting with terriers. So anyway, on our trip down, while I'm driving down, Maggie will be staying here. Maggie and the girls will be staying here, obviously to take care of the babies, make sure the mink are all taken care of while I go down on this trip. And um, while I'm down south, or on my way down south, we're gonna have a lot of time on the road. So I'm gonna be doing a live event for my Vimeo channel. So on Saturday the 4th, watch for me on my Vimeo channel. I'll be doing a live event starting at noon. So 12 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, We'll spend some time answering questions as well as going over kind of what our plans are down south. So uh, make sure you watch on our Vimeo channel. You'll be able to see that. And uh, we'll keep you posted as the baby mink develop. Thanks for watching.